attackers on this side, so an attacking group, we're going to have a blocking group on that side. Go ahead and move the boxes off. Okay, we don't have, we don't have a scoreboard out here, so you're my official scorekeeper. You're just on your hands. You're going to keep points. We're going to play a five-point game, so right now it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, the way that this drill works, I can either toss a ball in. Uh, I, let's go ahead and make it live, so I'm going to put a libero in the left back. What I'm going to do is enter a ball to the offensive team. They're going to try and get the best ball possible to their setter because they want to have all options available. Uh, guys, we also want somebody attacking the bick out of the back row. So setter. You can set to the pin behind you, the pin in front of you. You can set your middle, or you can set to the back row. Blockers, you are trying to get a stuff block or a touch block or force them into an error. So this side earns a point with a stuff block, a good deflection block, or an error by the offensive team. The offensive team earns a point by attacking a good ball that would be a kill. All right, and I'm just going to enter a ball to the libero. Okay, and we're, we're working on timing. They haven't worked on the timing, so we're just a little bit off. Probably, I think your timing was just a touch early, and your set was obviously too high. So we're, we're trying to connect on that quick pick. And I, I will say this, not every team is going to have guys like we saw in the NCAA matches that can come in and bury that ball, but everybody can hit this route. And you should have players on your team that can come in and direct a ball back to the corner or direct the ball back to the other corner. And if, if middles are going with your middles and you set, set this bick on the right timing, that's still, to either corner, going to be a really good shot. <clears throat> I just did that standing on the ground. So height, height doesn't matter. You guys can come in and hit this, this route. We need to practice it to get the timing down. Okay. Do we have a score yet? It's 1-0 uh, on this side, I believe. Nope, the other way. There we go. 1-0, ball. Good, 1-1, one, one. all right. Come on guys, we got him, let's get him, here we go. Okay, that would be a point for the defensive team, so 2-1 on this side, here we go, ball. All right, we're figuring it out. I think our defense is gonna dig that, so it's 3-1. Here we go, ball. Ball hit out, great intimidation, middle blocker, nice job, four to one. Here we go, ball. Four to two, we're gonna play to five because that's all the fingers he's got. Here we go, ball. Okay, we did dig that, so we're gonna get a swing, hopefully. Uh, so that is five to two, that's attack versus block. We will typically play that to 11 points, to 15 points. The blockers, we generally switch out in the middle of that drill every five swings, um, sometimes every seven swings, but we get a rotational system like that. The attackers, they're generally okay to stay almost the entire part of that drill until we've finished our score and then we switch out our personnel. But attack versus block, once you've worked on good technique and, and even as you're learning the technique, provides a lot of opportunities for you to see as a coach very clearly how your blockers are setting up if your blockers are stopping, if they're flying, if they're getting to the right shot that they want to take away, if they're reading well. Guys, really good job demonstrating. Let's give our demonstrators a big round of applause.